Right, this is a before shot of the lights, the dash there. Not too good. I'm going to replace them with uh, red LEDs from superbrightleds.com and that will be tomorrow. Okay, welcome back. It's now tomorrow and we're going to take this cluster out. So, let's begin. Two screws in front of the passenger seat, one here and one here. They're both 7 millimeter. Alright, if yours doesn't come out, use some pliers. Now let's take the top off. Just start here, push up, get it on clip. Okay. A lot of people take this all the way out. I'm not going to. Alright. These are where your screws actually screw into. Okay. Now so I got those screws out. I cut those screws out, but I did not remove it all the way because this is really all you need to get past to these two clips. Then this will just pull straight back, and we'll just pull this straight back. Okay, now a lot of people want to take the center console off. Um, it's plastic. I don't. I put the steering wheel all the way down. You just got to kind of maneuver it a little bit. Okay. There are two connectors in here once you get it off. There's one here for the fog lights and one here for the dimmer. Both of those need to come off. Okay. Take a screwdriver, press the button, and pull back. Okay. This one's a little opposite. under pull up gently and pull straight out okay and your whole thing comes out all right now that we have that off well, this is loose there are two more screws we need to get out there's one here and then the same on the other side they're both seven millimeter Same location. Be sure not to drop them. Because it's a pain in the butt to get them out. Here's the other one. And I just dropped it, of course. Now, this is the tricky part. I don't know if I can get the camera good, good camera angle on it, but um, there is the one clip over here on this side. So, you've got to try to, there we go. This is what it looks like on the back. It's your main clip. And then we got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten main bulbs and one bulb for your odometer. Not all of these are out. I'm actually going to put one of these in here because I got LEDs for everything else. All right, so this is how to take the bulbs out. Um, we've got ten of this type and one for the odometer. Now the odometer is definitely burned out on this one, so. 
You're supposed to do them by hand best you can, but some of them are hard to do. Okay, that's all they are. Little tiny little things. And I don't know if you can, I have brand new ones including the clip, but see these ones they are in there. You have to get the whole socket and everything, okay? So not all of these are burned out. In fact, this is a good one. So I can't get this one by hand, so I'm gonna use my pliers, twist it gently until it comes out. Okay, so this is the standard incandescent. This is the SMD. You can see the difference there. But this one's bad, so it goes in the scrap heap. Now, to do all the rest of them, I went to superbrightleds.com. Okay, this is the box they send you. Okay. Inside, you know, packing. You got all my new ones here. Okay, where's my camera there? There it is. Tilt my camera just a little bit. Okay, you've got these things. Okay, these are all the brand new LEDs. There you go, free advertising. And my packing slip. All right. So let's rip into this here. Try not to touch with your fingertips the actual LED. Okay. Don't touch that part. That white part. You don't want to touch that. Okay. So. If it doesn't go in properly, okay, that went in just fine. If it doesn't work, well, try again. You gotta take it out, turn it around 180, and put it back in, okay? So, I'm gonna do the rest of them, and then we will test them. So, got it installed. Ready? I'm ready. Bam! Bam. Check that out. What? Everything else is working. So, I ended up having to adjust some of the uh, the points on those LEDs. I had to squish them together a little bit so they'd actually make contact. So, but they work and it looks absolutely amazing. And the dimmer switch actually does work still. Okay. I did end up putting some white bulbs back in the uh, center top between the gauges. I put those white ones back in. And for the theater lights, they are also white and but everything else looks absolutely amazing so if you're gonna go with the LEDs I definitely recommend it